Hey everybody, it's Sea Girl Sensei the Dream, and I'm back today with another video. So, as I can see from time down below, Y'all, cousins are finally here. Are we sad? Are we happy? I don't really know. But today is the first day of summer classes for me. Summer classes actually started last week, but I was doing dog camp. If you want to see that vlog, it will be in the i cards above. But I was doing dog camp, so I really didn't have much time to start or do any classes. So today is going to be my first day of classes. So I just woke up. It's 10:52 and i rushed to put some clothes on because i need to actually go over and do some errands in central campus and then we'll be back and we'll see what i do with like school work but like who knows what i'm really gonna do but let's go ahead and get out before it gets too late Okay y'all, so I am now back in the room. It's actually like a whole lot of hours from early when I talked to y'all. It's now five o'clock, but I was on the phone for a long time. But um, all I did was go into main campus. I had to drop off a shirt for a dog camp. And I got to like talk it up with my co again, even though like I just saw her a couple days ago. But now I actually have some packages to open up because I got two packages in the mail as well. And one of them is my laptop, which I'm really excited about because like I said, class started and my laptop has been acting really weird for like a week or two now. So I've really been needing this and now like I could really get into school because I really couldn't start early on nothing. So I'm about to open up this laptop, show y'all it. I'm really excited because it's something new. It's not like the same one that I had before. So I'm excited about that. So let's just open this up and then we're going to see what's in the other package. I think it might be a book or something. And then we're going to get started on schoolwork because like I haven't even added anything to my calendar. I have like um, me and classes have not really joined a link just yet. So let's start this and then we could get started with like schoolwork and stuff like that. Okay y'all, so it is now nine o'clock. I haven't really done much to be completely honest. I started going through my computer, which I saw earlier, and basically all I did was go through all the syllabi and put everything in my calendar. So as you can see, I have everything in my calendar for all these months. It's not changing for everything. So basically, honestly, I have a Zoom class to get to, which is weird because all my classes are online classes, but like online asynchronous, but I guess this teacher really cares, which is pretty nice. And I think it's optional. I don't think we have to go, but I'm going to go because, you know, sometimes when you go to class, teachers be trying to give out bonus points, maybe giving you the answers to stuff and just be helping a little bit more. So I'm going to get on that real quick. That's starts in like two minutes. And then... Uh, Honestly, I'm going to go to sleep because I have work at 3 in the morning and I can't be late. So I'm going to do this Zoom class and then I'm going to catch back up with y'all after that.
Okay, y'all, so I just finished class. It's now 10.30. Y'all wouldn't believe what I just did. I just did like the slowest thing ever. I probably placed the video in here too. I just spoke to y'all this entire time for like two, three minutes. And I was still in time lapse. Can you, I just, just give me a second. Clearly it's been a long day, y'all can tell. But I just finished class and I'm really excited about this class. Seems like I'm gonna have a lot of fun. And just like the, what we're gonna be learning seems pretty interesting. I know, students being interested about school, <laughs> weird. But yeah, it seems interesting. And my main thing about my class is that I'm taking this summer. It just seems like it's gonna be a lot of work for me. And I'm also working two jobs and I'm doing camp and all that sort of stuff. So it's gonna be hard, but I mean, we're gonna push, we're gonna push. So like I said, it's 10.30 and I have work at three in the morning. So I really do need to get ready to go to bed because I need to get a little bit of a nap in. Like I could stay up, but I would rather not. Um, so I'm probably gonna, um, I'll probably eat dinner later on once I go to work actually because I'm not too, too hungry right now to try to force anything down my stomach but I'm gonna get ready to go to bed and I'm gonna go to work at three when I go to work at three there's a couple things that I need to do on my list I need to do this swatch kit this is for one of my classes and it's due next week so I'm gonna start working on that and I'm really excited about that because it seems like it's gonna be a fun experience to try to put everything together and I'll show y'all that later and then I also need to work on a YouTube video tomorrow is Tuesday so of course that means new video every Tuesday I have the video edited and uploaded the thumbnail is done but I have not done like the description and card and stuff like that and the tags so I need to do that and then I'll add on the thumbnail once I'm done so that that video is ready to be uploaded tomorrow and then it's just a whole lot, whole lot of coming up. Like I have a test, not for this class, but for another class on Thursday, which is crazy because like, I don't have the book yet and I don't know how this teacher expected the book to get here in less than a week when classes just started on Friday. So I might have to end up emailing that teacher depending on when I get that book cause that's, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> So yeah, it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of, I'll probably bring y'all along with me on this next day as well, because usually, you know, first day classes are two days. So I will take y'all along with me on this next day as I actually start getting into some more work and actually doing some reading and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm about to, like I told you, I'm about to get ready to go to bed. And then I will check in with y'all when I get to work. Hey y'all, hey y'all, so it is the next day. You already saw me, I was at work earlier. It is now like 5.30ish. Um, but I'm just out the room, you see y'all, I'm all low because I'm about to go to work. My other job, you got two jobs, baby, you got paid somehow. But I really haven't done much today, although it is five o'clock. I came back from work after six, took a nap, really like slept for the night, basically. And then I woke up, first two washed my face, had breakfast, and I was tired, so I went back to sleep. So I really haven't done any work for school today, so I'm not starting off the school year, or the school semester to a good start. But I'm actually about to head to the bookstore to see if they have this book, because like I said, for some reason this teacher already wants to assign a test when we, like, they just opened the, the like, courses last week. So how you gonna have a test in less than a week? How you expect me to get the book? So my book is on the way, it's ordered, but it's not gonna be here in time for the first test. So I'm gonna see if they have it here, see if I could try to order it, and then possibly return it. But that's just a whole lot, a whole lot of, I don't know. 
So let's head into this bookstore and then we'll see what we gotta do for the rest of the day. But I'm really hoping that they have something even though I don't wanna pay for it because I think this book is like over $100 and I already bought it. I'm tired of spending money at this point, but let's see what they got in here first. Okay, hey y'all, so I just left the bookstore. And honestly, I don't know if I just threw away my money or not, to be completely honest with y'all. So like I said, um, my book for my class, so okay, class has just started on two, no, class just started on Friday last week. Today is Tuesday. Um, and this teacher is already assigning a test on Thursday, so less than a week to buy this book that she did not put out there. Cause you know how some teachers open up like the class portal earlier on? No, this teacher waited until Friday to open up the class portal. And is already assigning a test for Thursday. We have to read three chapters from this book. So I don't know who this lady thinks she is, especially in the summer semester where it's kind of like, most people are not on campus, so most people have to order books. That's what I was doing. So my book isn't gonna be here until next week because that's how long shipping usually takes if we're being smart here. But you know, some folks not that smart. Some folks, they just not there yet. So basically, I had to go buy the book because the book is not gonna be here until next week. How am I gonna do the test if I don't have the book? So my book is still on its way, but I just had to go order the book from the bookstore. I ordered the used book. I paid like $100 for this book. And I'm trying to spend no money because I'm not gonna be working that much this summer. So I was in there for forever because like the people in there don't even really know their return policy because it's not, textbooks have a different return policy than other books. So like if you buy a book before a certain date, you have till a certain date to return the book, but they not telling me what this date is. And I keep asking, they keep giving me different days and different, different policies. But then if you buy the book after whatever this mysterious date is that they don't have on their website and not in the bookstore and anything like that, then you have seven days to return it. So I don't know if I just wasted $100 or what for a book that I already am going to get. So basically, like I said, today's Tuesday. This test and all, everything is on Thursday. I'll be back home to get my, the, the book that I'm supposed to be getting should be coming in for next week. So what I'm gonna do is literally, once I get off of work today, I should be done around 10.30. I don't have work again until 3.30 p.m. tomorrow. So literally, I'm probably gonna be staying up and reading these three chapters and getting this stuff done to return this book again tomorrow because y'all not finna play me, y'all not finna take $100 away from me for a book that I already had. So it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of going on right now. But I'm gonna try to do this and at least I can cheer up just a little bit by going to work because I do like this job, I like my managers, all that sort of stuff. So I'll show y'all kind of what it looks like because we're doing Top Golf at the stadium this year. I don't know if I told y'all about this, but um, Top Golf is doing this thing. I think it's only at SEC schools, but they're going to the football stadiums, the football stadiums in these SEC schools, and they're putting on Top Golf. So our first day of Top Golf is today, and we're doing two weeks of Top Golf. Today's a private event. Tomorrow when I do it as well, it's a private again. It's a private <laughs> event again. So this is gonna be really cool. I'm gonna show y'all kind of what it looks like because I'm really intrigued. Like I walked, I drove past it, I guess, on the bus earlier today. But of course I couldn't really see the field. So I'm interested to see how the field looks because VGA don't play by the field. If you know one thing, they do not play by the field. So I'm about to go because I need to be there in three minutes, <laughs> but I'm literally right next to the stadium, so that's perfectly fine. But I'm kind of gonna see if I could get some clips to show y'all what it looks like because I'm excited. Like, Top Golf at the football stadium, that's different. Who you know? Who you know who's doing that? So I'm about to go do that, and then we'll see what else we do for the rest of the day today. <laughs> it's too close to them. I don't think you have to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Into the tent. Oh wait, no, to the tent. Okay. All right, I gotta get one on the floor. Oh god.
<laughs> oh, y'all are serious. Okay, y'all, so I am back in the room. I left Topped Off, probably added in some clips of that. That was actually a pretty cool vibe. Um, it was pretty fun because today it wasn't like open to the public. It was just our donors that were there today. So they pretty much did everything. It was pretty fun, cool experience. We didn't really have to do much. Um, and then I came back to the room. I was on the phone. That's why I didn't catch back up with y'all earlier. But I finished that and let me put y'all up on game real quick and i got a video coming out coming up about this as well that i didn't really say all this in but that video will be coming out as well but y'all i'm over it with textbooks i'm returning that textbook tomorrow morning i haven't even touched it because i realized like a lot of people put out different websites that you can go to to get books to get textbooks and stuff online for free and like pdfs and stuff i'm not don't don't ask me to put links out because i don't even know if any of that is right but i decided to just like okay let me just check up on the link or whatever because somebody like we have a group chat and somebody in the group chat for this class said oh there was only five questions on the test so i was sitting over here thinking i know i did not just spend a hundred and whatever dollars on a book for five questions like is it really that serious so i saw that that the test was open book all that sort of stuff so i was like okay let me see if there's a version of this book online i couldn't find one on google so i'm like okay i took a screenshot of the different websites that people were letting us know about like last year so i'm like okay i saw the website i looked at the isbn lo and behold the book PDF was on there. So I was just like, okay, let me just use this because then at least I could just control fine because at first I was just gonna read. But I'm like, am I really about to read three whole chapters, have to read a whole lot of pages just for five questions? I don't necessarily think it's worth me putting in all of that effort for five questions. I'm so sorry if anybody feels any other way about it, but I just don't, I, I feel like if I'm going to be reading all of these pages, Give me a test that's worth me reading all of these pages. If you only gonna test me on five concepts, I just don't see the point. Honestly, if I gotta be clearly honest, like, okay, if it was 10 questions, then okay, I could work with that. You know, if it's 20 questions, okay, I could work with that. But five questions, I'm not gonna do that. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry about it. So, it's just crazy how like I was able to find this textbook online. Y'all don't mind, my, like my buttons just be messed up on here. And yeah, I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday. I just don't like wearing outside clothes inside the room. But <laughs> I took the test, y'all, and I definitely failed it. I definitely failed that test. Now, I'm going to say for me not having read and just having skimmed through some of the stuff, I think I did okay because it was only five questions. It's not like I took a 10-question test and failed if you take a 10 question test and fail then you should have read because there were a lot of questions that you could have redeemed yourself on but i took a five question test once you miss one question you're already docked really low anyway so i only missed two questions so that wasn't really bad considering that hey i didn't read but at least that shows me what i need to do in the future like okay you didn't read this time and you got two questions wrong if you read next time you should be able to do this within a breeze as well so i think for the first test i like to test out a first test usually a lot with all of my classes because then it shows me how i need to study which is also another thing that i talked about in a video that will be coming out pretty soon if not it already haven't been out so i think i did okay for the first test but could i have done better yes is that my standards no it's not my standards at all i have a gpa that i'm trying to keep up but at least I know from now on what I need to do in order to keep those grades up. But I just want to be transparent and vulnerable with y'all. I don't really talk to y'all about my grades or anything like that. So I want to be honest because a lot of people don't be honest about their grades up on here. So yeah, that's what I've done. Now I'm probably about to go because this class, we also have like this discussion thing that we need to do 
that's also due on Thursday. So I'm gonna start working on that. And of course with that, I'll be able to read a little bit more. So now I'm thinking just to, for in next week, so it might be better if the discussion is also do the same time as the quiz. What might be better for me is to work on the discussion first. Cause if I work on the discussion, then that's gonna force me to read. And if that forces me to read, then I would know more information for taking the test. So you see, that's that's kind of how my brain works. I like to work by trial and error, which a lot of people don't like, but that's just what works for me to know what I need to do in the future. So I'm gonna get started working on that. It's two in the morning, I'm not going to lie, but I don't have to do anything tomorrow until 3 p.m. So I'm probably just gonna um, stay up and get as much of this done as I can because I gotta start working on the next classes ASAP. But yeah, most definitely I want y'all to know that book, that book is going back. Y'all can't even, it's down there. You can't even see it, but it's down there in the corner, right there. That book is going back to the bookstore tomorrow. Ain't no, I'm not finna wait on it. I'm taking that book back because I did not just spend a hundred some dollars for one, a book I could have found online, which is my, that that's my bad because I could have done that I could have done that research ahead of time. Sometimes I don't be thinking that far in advance. But I'm finna get my money back. And if I don't get my money back, I'm gonna come back on here. I'm gonna let y'all know. But I'm finna get my money back. Period. Okay. I'm sorry. I just don't I don't like waste the money. So yeah. Usa. But yeah, I'm gonna start working on this discussion and get this over with and then start looking at what the next module has because I kind of got to do two weeks in one to be where I need to be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get that done. But just, you know, this is just my advice to y'all. One, look online to see if the book is on there for free because I still have another book that was already bought as well. So that's even more of an issue because I hate when I have to buy books when the books didn't need to be bought in the first place. Um, but yeah, so just, pieces of advice look for if the book is online one and two it's not advice because you could mess up your grade with this depending on the grading of the class but there's a lot of other grades and a lot of other quizzes in this class so I'm not too too concerned for one quiz but definitely for me trial and error works because it helps me know what I need to do in the future so I shouldn't be making these same mistakes so yeah I'm gonna get to this because it's getting late and I've been talking for like seven minutes already but yeah, I'm gonna do this and we'll see what I do after that. Okay y'all, okay y'all, so I'm back. We have made some process. Okay, okay y'all, so I'm back and we have made some progress. Let me show y'all. Okay, so y'all can see, y'all can see, y'all can see. So this is basically like our, um, what's it called? discussion that we have to do so I basically did all my answers I haven't turned it in just yet because I also need to make a question in response to other people to have all that together before I turn this in because when I turn it in I just want to have I just want to like close the tab out and forget about it so yeah it is 4 a.m. I don't know if y'all caught that but it is 4 a.m. so that's why I put a stop on this and I'll just since I have like the actual work that needed to be done done I need to just come up with a random question and answer to, to answer two other people's questions. So I think that shouldn't take me too too long to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna stop for tonight so I can brush see, wash my face, take a shower, all that stuff, and get to bed. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog because if I keep on going, y'all just gonna see the whole school year basically. But if you wanna stay back in tune or if you wanna keep up with how my summer classes are going. This summer I have a lot planned so y'all are going to have a lot of vlogs coming from me so if you ever need to know anything or just want to check up on me make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell just so you can know when those other vlogs and those other videos come out and yeah like this summer semester it seems like it's going to be challenging but I feel like it shouldn't be too too bad I just have to put in the work so that's what I'm trying to do just fill it out for this first week but I think it should be fine I, I'm hoping that it should be fine. But like I said, if you want to stay in tune, just make sure you subscribe to the notification bell. You're going to know when those videos come out to see how like I progress throughout the summer semester. I may be vlogging for the finals, but I'm not really sure just right now because 
I plan on doing another vlog during that time, so I don't know if I want to separate them up or not just yet. But just stay tuned, y'all are going to know. And just stay tuned, just know what's going on. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at IFCNG because of course I post way more often on there. And I can talk with y'all all the time because of course I'm on Instagram more than I'm on YouTube. And just remember that I love you all so, so, so much. And if you are taking summer classes, I'm praying for y'all. If you're not taking summer classes, you turn up, you live your best life for the both of us because I wish I could. But I love y'all so, so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Dree, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. I just check back in with y'all. I just let that look stop. One thing about it, hold on, let me walk out. One thing about it, I'm not paying for no book. I got. $112 back in my bank account. You see me. Because I was in about to pay for that book. No way, no, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey, none of that. So, really excited. I just have to let y'all know that your girl did return it and she did get all her coins back. So, we back in business, baby. But that was it. I just wanted to update y'all on that. <laughs>